How's it going? My name is Carl Bullen. Hello from me and my quarantine hair. Hope everyone is doing well. So all this week to celebrate the return of classic episodes of How Do You Do to our screens on RT Player, myself and some of my fellow RT colleagues are getting set some home arts and crafts challenges by the legend that is Mary Fitzgerald. Mary, how are you? Not too bad. Thank you very much for inviting me along to join yourself and your colleague Dunica. Dunica, how are you, how are you at this kind of thing? I suppose I haven't done it in a while. Um, to everyone um, grown up, um, Mary was like the new, uh, was like the Paw Patrol or the equestrian girls of our time. Well, look, thank you very much, Donica. There are lovely things to be saying to me now. So let's see if we can get started and see how good you are at doing all of this from the years of practice working with me. Um, the thing we're going to make today is a kite because we're into the summer and everybody's outdoors and we're all social distancing. So this is an ideal thing to make. The first thing just to tell everybody what they need is um, a black sack. Then you need a couple of plastic um, shopping bags. The other thing you need for the frame of the um, kite are two sticks. Now these are two garden sticks, um, but a two sticks around that height would be what you would need for your kite. And then to fly the kite, you will need um, some twines. Those are the basic um, materials that you need. So the first thing you need to do is to get your refuse sack. So get your scissors and cut the ends of it. So that's the, you know, the ends where if you were putting the, the stuff into the bag, it wouldn't empty out. So at this point in time, if you put stuff into this bag, it would. The next stage is then to open out your bag. So when you open it out, you should have a big, sort of rectangular bag that looks like that. So at this point in time, you um, fold the bag in half. Step one, step one, I'm already struggling, yes, I think. Okay, no, just fold it in half. No, not that half, the other way, long way. <laughs> this way, is that right? Yeah, that's right, okay. Tell them in, just yeah, it's great, you're doing brilliant, Carl. Yeah, <laughs> off you go, Carl, that's brilliant. Okay, okay now guys, you've got your scissors. <laughs> I'm um, telling you, you have gorgeous scissors, Donica. Yeah. <laughs> you get your scissors, and what you do is you're going to cut up like a triangle like that. So the second stage is you cut the long, a long triangle up, which meets the end of the other one. So let's see what you've done, Donica. <laughs> That's the bit you're taking away, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Now open up the bags, right? Okay, it should look like this when it's opened up. So that's what it should look like. You can already tell how low quality my bin bags are. <laughs> <laughs> You'd want to be double bagging on those. <laughs> right. Now the next part is we, where you need to get your two sticks. I haven't saw them on yet, I have a little oh, bit of <laughs> Don't do it, man. What's going on with your little hacksaw? <laughs> <laughs> this is the only little saw I have. It's for my little man kit. <laughs> Get your glue, whatever glue you have. Quick stick, okay. Have you got tape? Yeah. Yes. Sellotape, perfect. Yeah. Put your stick down that length of it. So you have you have a wing at the side. You see that it's the way I have done them. Uh-huh. One on, on either side. I feel like I'm going protesting. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Yep. Now, that is very good. I'm no, that's the first the next stage is to get your string about 25 centimetres down. You put in the corner, you, you get a piece of sellotape and you sellotape on the string. So look if I show you, do you see that? Uh, so just tie them in the middle. It should look like that, right? With the sticks at the back and your string. What you need now is to get some of your local shopping bags that you have at home, right? What I want you to do is to cut a rainbow shape. So you can start cutting out some clouds, which are like sort of big daisies. So stick a cloud at each corner of the rainbow. <laughs> Show me your, your cloud and your rainbow. Oh, fantastic, brilliant. So just glue it onto the front of your kite now, down in the center. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's not too bad. My, my, my two sticks are too it's short. It's good now, when you hold it out like that, it's very good, yeah? I'm going to put two, they're like two eyes on the kite. So that's kind of like the smiley mouth. And these are the, the kite is a friendly kite. So they're like two square eyes, if you want to call it. Uh -huh. This is this is all just the extra frills on the kite, just to make it look like 
I can say mine is very likely to take off the ground, to be honest with you. <laughs> the tail for the kite is just a piece of string with bows again attached to it. What I'll do is I'll just show you the one that I made earlier. That's how it's done, Donica. I just pinned it onto a board so you can see it. No, oh, Mary. You, you have that and then you have this. And this. Well, look, let's everybody, let us all hold up our kites together and let's go fly a kite. Mary, out of out of the two kites, which looks most like it might actually fly? <laughs> and where you've fallen down is that the frame wouldn't actually hold that kite if you were trying to fly it. So while it looks aesthetically beautiful to the eye, I don't think that it would actually work as a kite, but it looks great. And I would say, try a bit harder the next time. So, uh, <laughs> so Monica, can I have a look at yours now? As you're using white on white and there wasn't much contrast in it in terms of the decoration. The plus side is that that kite, I think, would probably fly because you have proper um, bamboo sticks at the back and they're the right length. I suppose the purpose of a kite is to actually fly it. So, Carl, on this occasion, I think Donica is the winner. Uh, <laughs> I am raging. Good. <laughs> My kite sums me up. Looks terrible, but completely functional.